What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for hopping on. Thank you for watching and listening. I'm so excited because I have the amazing Nadia Melton on today. And we're going to talk a little bit about building an online business and attracting customers using like attraction marketing because she is amazing at it. And then like kind of how you brand yourself and all sorts of awesomeness. So Nadia, for those who might not know who you are, could you introduce yourself, please? Of course. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm so psyched to be speaking with you and your amazing community. Yes, my name is Nadia Melton. So today I'm a branding strategist. I'm a lifestyle expert. And really, I love to dissect things like, oh, hey, my phone rang. It never happens, right? <laughs> okay, so today, um, my husband and I, we run a couple different businesses. We have a network marketing business. We have our training company. And we love to teach entrepreneurs and network marketers how to create a business around their life. Because for over a decade for me, I was doing it backwards, you know, and my business was sort of like the main enchilada. And if my kids somehow fit into that, you know, that's just kind of how it was. So it was really, really backwards. And yeah. six years ago, you know, I just, I felt like a horrible mother. I was never home. We were driving, doing. Oh, shoot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My phone You're... keeps ringing. It never happens. That's so weird. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm back, right? Yes, you're back. Yes, you're fine. Back. It's totally fine. Oh, this is the beauty of live TV. You guys, if you're watching us live, let us know in the comments. If you're watching this on the replay, let us know if this ever happened to you. You go live and all of a sudden, everybody needs you. Your puppy needs you. Strangers need you. Telemarketers for sure need you, right? Oh, yes. Um, oh, my gosh. Anyways, yeah, so, what, uh, so, yeah. So, six years ago, we started going down this path of trying to figure out, of, okay, how can we take our message, our business from belly to belly to belly mm -hmm. to many, right? And for us. Yes. Yes, yes. I mean, three times in a row. That's so bizarre. We got to put on do not disturb. I forgot to put literally the same number keeps calling me. So now I'm thinking, what is the emergency, right? What is the emergency? Right. Do not know right. I'm live. Anyways. So yeah, so we just um, so we just started to figure that out. And you guys, mm -hmm. what's really beautiful is that today we live in the world where social media makes it so I don't want to say easy, right? Right. Becoming right. really, really successful at anything, it's going to take effort. It's going to take commitment. It's going to require you to develop the skill set. But what's awesome is you can go live and you can build relationships from people from all around the world. And therefore you can make an impact. You can create a lot of success inside your business. So anyway, so yes. that's a little bit of, of my story and how we got to where we are today. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, and I don't think I introduced myself. For those who don't know who I am, I am Tiara, aka T, your wine diva. <laughs> and I love to bring you sips and tips to have like the most amazing life ever through business, entertainment, and of course, wine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so much good stuff going on. Um, so kind of like what inspired you no. to want to start coaching other network marketers, Nadia? You know, um, that's a really, really good question. John is like, baby, what is going on with you? <laughs> Lady T. And I'm not even drinking wine. This would have been really hilarious if this was a little later in the day. Right. But, you know, so I think for me, Tara, what really happened was when we were in such like a low point in our business. Now, keep in mind, in 2012, 2013, we were creating a six-figure income. So from the outside looking in, we were doing like these amazing things, but we just didn't have a life. So right. and then we went on this transformational journey and we ended up investing hundreds of thousands of dollars into our social media, our, our online marketing education. And then we just kept honing it in and like mm -hmm. putting the system in place. Right. And so as we, you know, started to create the results and what ended up happening was we went from making a six figure income 
a year to now making that income on a monthly basis, but doing it all from home. A lot of our friends, a lot of the people that, you know, became part of our community started to go like, dude, what, like, what are you, what are you doing? doing? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, what are the one, two, threes and ABCs? And so we, and I've never been like stingy. It's not part mm-hmm. of my nature. So I love to figure things out. And then, you know what they say? You really don't know it until you can turn around and teach it. So right. but the more that we started to teach and there's just nothing better, right? When somebody can follow your steps, like, or they tune into your video, right? Or they hop on a call with you or whatever, and you inspire them to take that, even the smallest step in the right direction. Like that's truly you living in your legacy, like you're living in your power. Um, So, and you become addicted to that. So, and that's just kind of like where we are now. I'm like, oh my gosh, like let's create, you know, this document and this PDF and let's, you know, curate our best content, right? Uh, but it's, it's addictive. You know, this. Yes, it is. I love it. I love creating content. That's where I, where I started like, you know, going live, doing a podcast, creating a YouTube channel, all the things. And, you know, and when you are creating content, it's so important to build a brand. So what are some like tips for brand building for people that might not know where to even start? Yes. Oh, I love that question. That's so good because I think that so many people, right, they get stuck in in their head. And one of my favorite phrases is, if you're in your head, you're dead. So, but I also want you to know, I was reading something by Shalene Johnson. I love her so much. Love her. And yeah, so she, this girl, she's got it dialed in, but she said something along the lines of, you know, if you were to pick up a precious stone and if you were to hold it really close to your eye, you can't really see the beauty. You got to take it further away and you got to shine a light on it. Right. And what happens a lot of times is that when you are like, you're this beautiful genius, but you're also this piece of art and you're in the frame and you cannot see the picture when, when you're in the frame. So a lot of times in the beginning, all of us, we overthink it. We undervalue our genius. We're too close to it. So the best way to get started is a, to realize that there, you already have answers. You already have figured things out that can help somebody else. So, and then the best way to really get going with this whole thing is just to start sharing it. And you have to be okay. <laughs> you guys, can we just talk about this? You have to be okay with it being a little messy, being a mm-hmm. little awkward, being a little bit not on point in the beginning, because that's how you're going to get good at this whole thing. Like we all say right. that. You know, and then like, as we keep doing it, we become better and then we become great. And then all of a sudden Forbes magazine is calling your name, right? Right. So it doesn't happen just over just overnight. Get started. Yes. Yes. It doesn't happen overnight. It's like playing a sport, you know, mm-hmm. you cannot figure out in your head, oh, like which sport should I go ahead and learn? No, you have to pick up the ball. You have to try. You have to talk. You have to feel your energy, Right. You mm-hmm. just kind of write down some things that you love talking about that you have answers in that maybe people come to you for, like you have those answers right. and then we have to shine some light on you. And you know, what's cool. What I really love is now we have stories, right? We have live video. We have TikTok, my new obsession. <laughs> I even deal with it right now. I love TikTok. Oh, are you, you're on TikTok. This is yes, right. I am. Oh my gosh, that's like, I cannot, I cannot, Tiara, we cannot get diverted away from this important conversation, Talk about TikTok. <laughs> but all I know is you just like, you just got to get started. You know what I mean? Right. Just start talking about it and you will figure it out. Exactly. Exactly. You got to start. I feel like so many people are like just stuck in that space. Like you were saying, like they're in their head and I have people ask me all the time. They're like, Oh my gosh, Tara, like how did you're so good at it? It's because you're an actor. Right. And I'm like, dude, no, I've been going live. Like I went live every single day for over a year, starting with one of your live video challenges. So like, like people don't see that, that, that beginning. And I'm sure like, if you guys can dig down and see some videos, (laughs) there were some videos, right. And it comes with practice. Like it, it really doing the thing is what's going to make you good at it. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. And that's, there's so much 
value in what you said, you know, that a lot of times when we see somebody and we look at them in their, you know, year two or year mm -hmm. five or year 10 of them building their business or building their brand, and we compare what they have going on to our very beginning. And then we mm -hmm. find, find ourselves like discouraged and we compare and and here's what I find to be true. And this is, I cannot remember who said this, but this is so on point, right? For those of us that still struggle with that, mm -hmm. I want you to think of it like this, that Tierra, myself, we cannot reach the people that you were meant to reach. And you got to look at it like a responsibility. There's people out there right now that are praying for a solution. They're praying for this expert or just somebody that can show them the way and they can only hear it from you. And I think right. for me, one of the biggest breakthroughs that happened for me was when I took myself out of the equation and I stopped thinking about, well, what if I mess up or what if they don't like me or what if I what if I what if I you know I is everywhere right so but when you start to think about what if this message is meant to reach a person that's right now praying on their knees every night and I can help them in some shape or form you guys it really becomes so much bigger than you and then you become so much more rooted and so much more grounded in your spiritual gifting right? Mm -hmm. And then you project. And I think that once you get that mindset straight, it's pretty miraculous what happens. The, the doors that open up for you, the people that now are flocking to you, because why? Because you are not stingy with your content. You are not stingy with your answers. <sighs> <laughs> yes. Give, give, give. And then Please that just a attracts everyone. So like in talking about attracting, um, and we're looking at content and you're like thinking about, okay, so what should I put out there? Um, what are your tips on, what do you talk about? Like, do you talk about your industry or do you talk about something else? Cause I know when I, one of the things that I was finding was if I started putting out content related to, and like, like John talks about like remixing and being a DJ for content that you're like listening to, I started putting out social media, like expert tips and then people are flocking to me for that but yeah. they're not flocking to me for wine stuff so like what yeah. do you what do you recommend yeah that's such a gorgeous question and you know what's interesting because i look at marketing and branding it's a science and an art right mm -hmm. so we so i'm a huge fan of being methodical about stuff and i'm a huge fan of systemizing optimizing all those different things but i'm also what i've learned over the years is that you have to let your personality you got to wrap your personality around whatever it is that you do right amen so the best <laughs> the, the <laughs> best way to answer that question would be a let's take a look at what are you learning right now you know, so as an entrepreneur, as a network marketer, uh, even as a parent, you guys, truth be told, if you want to be like an excited human being, I think part of your DMO or your daily method of operation should be personal development, personal growth. So mm -hmm. I would zoom in. Is it skill set development you're doing right now? Is it just mindset training you're doing? But maybe just ask yourself after you finish whatever you are doing that morning, you go, OK, what's one thing that I just picked up? that actually got your juices flowing faster, you can share that, right? right. Now you can take a look at what kind of business do you have and what could you educate somebody around? So the natural step for them would be like, hey, you know what? Maybe I do want a glass of wine. You know what I mean? Maybe there's a definitely health qualities there. So I'll give you a good example. So that way it's not so much theory, right? Right. So let's say you have a nutritional business, like you sell supplements, vitamins, whatever, right? And you mm -hmm. do a little research. You guys, now we have Google, like yes. shut the front door, you know? <laughs> so you do a little research. And if you do, you'll realize that women in America, listen to this stuff, right? Women in America spend three times more money on the way they look on the outside than what they put on the inside. So that's oh, wow. a cool stat. People love statistics, right? So if we know that to be true in marketing, we go, okay, so what if I show up and do a makeup tutorial, right? Maybe mm -hmm. start to notice what do people compliment you on? Like for me, people a lot of times would say, oh, I love how you do your eye makeup or I love how you do oh, yes. the other thing. So let's say if you're a fan of makeup too, you could do a quick tutorial and you show how you contour 
But get this, you're going now, what you're doing is, is you're now fishing and you're putting on the hook what the fish wants, which is women want to know makeup and how do you look beautiful and what are those skincare tips. But now that you're on live with them, you can nonchalantly mention that, hey, by the way, you know, that nutrition is a big part of what your face looks like, right? And you can, you can like drip those conversations or you could do a tutorial while you're sipping on a glass of wine and you go, oh my gosh, you guys, not to be whatever. <laughs> I, you know, this could be wine talking, but I love wine. You know what I mean? Right. You just find like fun ways to bring whatever it is that you are promoting, selling, you fully believe in into the, you know, generic content conversation that you love talking about. That's awesome. That's beautiful. So from like a recruiting standpoint, so like yeah. we're talking, I feel like that kind of conversation leads to like getting customers and bringing people in and really like starting the conversation in the comments, then you can move it to like, you know, messenger and all that good stuff. But like from a recruiting standpoint, what kind of content would you want to put out to do the same thing, to bring people yeah. in that are interested in making money or, Great you know, question. trying something new? Yes. So you guys, same kind of thing. People love stories. People love, I mean, you just, again, find creative ways to nonchalantly. Now, sometimes I believe it's good to do once a week, like a direct post where maybe mm -hmm. you share a testimonial about your product or you showcase like the big benefit that's happening inside your business. You could do that once a week, right? But nonchalantly, we're talking about, let's say you're doing a live video and you can say things like, you know, when I started my business three months ago, little did I know, like you just do a little bit of like, mm -hmm. you know, like when you are going fishing, I love to use fishing as an analogy because I swear I'm an expert, not to like <laughs> be braggadocious, whatever, but I'm Russian. So I have all these funny skill set, right? That I've, I've acquired when I was young. But what I know about it is that marketing is like fishing, right? And mm -hmm. you're just putting those little baits out there, which is a couple sentences here and there by, share, by sharing testimonials. Let's say you go to your company event and you take some photos with your company leader, but I recommend that you like do it strategically, right? Where the name of the company, like, it's not in the, it's in, a, in the background. Yeah. 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 Because people Google and then they make their own like solutions and decisions and you don't even know they were interested, right? Your goal is to generate, generate leads for you, not for your business. Right. Anyway. So let's say you take a photo with a leader, with your team, and then you tell a little story around it. Right. So you find mm -hmm. ways to talk about your business, but not in just like that way of like, Oh, you know, I'm looking for two people this month. I mean, I just think that we're in, DNA age, no, yeah. but people just, you know, allergic reaction to that kind of thing. But great ways, telling the story, you know, bragging about somebody else, mentioning it, it in your video and saying, Hey, if you want to know more about my business, we are like blowing up right now, not to be whatever. I'm starting to sweat as I think about it. Hey, send me a private message, you know? Mm -hmm. I love that. So you have this amazing strategy called the ATM strategy. Can you like describe that a little bit for those who might not know what it is? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's really cool, right? When you think about your exposure process. So like back in the day when we used to build uh, all offline, gorgeous days, I do not miss, right? <laughs> so the way that we would do it is we would peak and then invite follow-up. It's like the simple steps, right? Mm -hmm. But it was all offline, you know? So now when we started to think about how can we create a simple system where there's still social proof, People can still kind of like feel the enthusiasm, excitement of a, of a meeting, but it's online and mm -hmm. it was utilizing secret Facebook groups. So ATM stands for ad tag message. So let's say you generate a lead, whether you were proactive in talking about your product or your business, or they came to you saying, oh, you know, you mentioned da, 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 right? What's right. the next step? So at this point we teach, all right, so uh, you could say something like, hey, you know, here's, you know, and again, you would insert whatever company script that you use, 
But you go, I'm going to add you to a secret Facebook community where you can learn everything you need to learn about this product. I'll tag you in a video that like explains how it works. And then um, actually, I'd love to introduce you to a couple of people that I work with. So add tag message, you add them to a secret group. You tag them in either the welcome video or a testimonial or whatever, right? Now, you can have this group be... Uh, just for the products or just for the business or when we got started we just had one group for everything but mm-hmm. once we started to create a lot of results right now it's like really robust but in the beginning it was just one group so you add tag message and matter of fact we actually put together this pdf download for those of you guys that go nadia you speak so fast and i need to really wrap my head around it like if you want to know the one two threes of like the marketing strategy but then the prospecting piece and how the atm system brings it all together i can definitely share that download um it's free for sure yes awesome i love it so how i got started with doing creating content and going live was through a a challenge that you guys did an mla challenge so do you guys have any challenges coming up (laughs) that's a really good question so actually the team and us are discussing that at the moment so we're going to do something before the end of the year or to kick off the new year so we're looking at some dates right now yes Mm -hmm. i love a video on prospecting challenge and you've crushed how many (laughs) have you been Apollo, oh gosh! Like Send your presence all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I I probably have been in. I I want to say like seven or eight of them. I don't know. <laughs> oh gosh! I am so amazed by that. That's so cool. Yes, this this beautiful diva ring light that I'm using that's like oh. shining. That's definitely a gift from you guys, and thank you so much for it. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh! Awesome. So. Is there anything else that you would like to share with the audience today? I don't want to take up too much of your time. Yeah. So, you know, I just want them to know that they just need to stay plugged into you because your spirit, your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Stay tuned because Russian is like my, my first language, right? But sometimes I think we're like in weird languages. So, but for you, it's like you have that spirit of excellence, but you also have such a big spirit and you have such like, you know, um, what's the word? Like you're so free with like your content and you're so good at this whole thing. So you got to stay plugged into whatever Tara is doing. So you stay plugged into that. And then my next tip for you is you just get started, you know, Mm -hmm. and you just stay consistent because the truth is if you just continue to show up, you're going to win. It's, you know, it's the people that like get excited and they do a thing and then something new comes out, right? Like another shiny ball syndrome and then they scooch over here and right. that's yeah, just, it, 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 you can't succeed like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Your hair is going to be messy. Your makeup will run. <laughs> so you got to stay on point. And if it gets a little bit like too much, you drink a glass of wine. Yes. I love that. <laughs> So for anyone that wants to know a little bit more about you and like, and John and what you guys got going on, where can they find you? Yeah. So I think the best thing I can share based on our conversation is my lifestyleacademy.com slash download. So if you want to grab our best like social media, you know, tips and tricks and strategies and scripts that we've used to recruit thousands of people, then that's going to be awesome. But our website is mylifestyleacademy.com. So our best training is there and, uh, and you can connect with us there as well. Awesome. Thank you so much for and joining me today, Nadia. Single, 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 single. All right. Yeah, my last talk, enemy.com slash download. And thank you so much for having me. This was so much fun. <laughs> you guys drop us your favorite tip that you got from this video. And I cannot wait to catch up with you in the comments. Yes. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Thanks. We'll talk to you soon. Talk to you You're soon. Awesome. Bye. Keep crushing it. <laughs> Bye.